started. It is summit week. Hey, Victoria. Um, it's summit week, guys. Shift week. Lots of stuff going on. I'm super excited to have so many of you here and share with you about inviting and how we can really maximize all of this kind of craziness that's coming. Um, it's a lot, right? There's a lot going on. And I want to remind you that this is a big potential for us to change a shit ton of lives. Like I might be throwing some tough love truth bombs out tonight because I'm just, this is programs with my baby for 63 days. So now to share it is like, we got to do it right. Like we got to do Chris Downing right. We got, we have to, and we got to, we have to just like share this from the way, right way. Um, so I hopefully the things that I've shared tonight will help you with that. And of course I made slides because you guys know I love that. So I'm going to share my screen. And like I said, hopefully you guys have a notebook out because a lot of information is about to come at you, but know that this will be recorded so you can come back to it and see it later. So can everybody see my posts? Okay. Thumbs up. Can you see the screen? Cool. Let me turn this off because I don't need to hear this. One second. Okay. So we're talking about rocking the invite tonight. Um, just to give you an overview of what we're going to do. Ooh. Amanda, I'm going to meet you. Um, just to give you an overview of what we're going to be going over is launching Shift Shop, of course, how to utilize Summit, whether you're going or not, because I think it's really important for you guys to understand how much of an impact that can take on your business. Um, we're going to talk about Team Cup real quick. We're going to go over how to invite to the challenge groups we have coming up as well as the coaching opportunity and a little bit of using Instagram because there's some benefits to that as well as how I kind of do my process of inviting. All right. So lots of stuff jam packed. So first and foremost, starting on Wednesday begins a new beach body year. Summit kind of marks a new year for us. So it's kind of like you get to start fresh, you get to reignite yourself, you get to reinvent what you want to do the rest of the year. And there, if you didn't listen to the national wake up call today, definitely get on your podcast and do that. It's now on there. Um, I thought she did a great job on sharing what you guys should be focusing on. But pre summit right now, all I want you to do is focus on expanding your network. So reconnecting with friends, um, adding new people to your network. What about recognition? Who? Oh yeah. Good. Thank you, Liz. Gosh, I'm so bad. Welcome. Vicky is new as well as Kat and Sydney. So thanks for hopping on the call. I'm just like, I already have so, so much to share. I love seeing you guys here though. So don't get overwhelmed. Just get your notebook out. Um, okay. So right now, expanding your network. Just connecting with friends, being a friend, you know, just being yourself and sharing that on your posts and in your messages behind the scenes. That's all I want you to focus on, okay? During Summit, I want you guys to be sharing whether you're there or not. Um, we're going to be using a hashtag for all of our posts so you guys can go to Instagram and see all of mine, Claire's, Tara's, Brianna's, and Jessica's posts. And you guys can share that and share your vision for you being there next year. And it's not weird. It's only weird if you think it is, but you should be saying, Oh my gosh, I can't wait to be at this event a year from now. I've never committed to something so far along. You know, just think about the vision that you want to create and the team you want to build the next year and, and paint that picture. And behind the scenes, you're going to be inviting like crazy. You're going to be talking about shift shop. You're going to be talking about our team and what this event is. And just being unapologetic about what you have to offer because this, you guys have seen my results. Like, you know, the program works and all of you are going to get bomb transformations. So don't be bashful at inviting. Okay. And then post summit, you're just going to follow up, follow up, follow up and follow up again. All right. So to give you a rundown of some of the important dates, shift shop launches on Wednesday. Hopefully you know that unless you've been living under a rock. <laughs> Um, and then our prep week will kick off on a, a week from today. So next Monday, we're doing a full week of prep, which some of you have never done before. 
because you really need it for this program. Um, we're going to be kind of resetting our minds and the way that we're thinking about this program and walking our challengers through how to best prepare for it and succeed with it. And then we'll officially kick off on the 24th. So as I've said before, you guys will get access on Wednesday. Feel free to get in there and test out the, the workouts and share videos of them and share a move of the day um, and talk about your experience with the program. Don't feel like you have to hold back. Just know that we're not officially starting till the 24th. Okay. Any questions with that so far? And you guys can use the chat too. Um, for Summit, there's going to be a few events if you're not going that you can live stream into. And I'm going to find the link and share this with you guys. So Thursday night at 8 o'clock, um, our team is going to be recognized as a top team in the network. So congrats to you guys. I can't wait to walk across stage in the Superdome and hopefully you guys can see me on the live stream. But it's just a fun celebration and it really gets you to visualize truly where you want to be next year because every single one of you can be walking across that stage next year, okay? Um, and then the super workout, we're gonna be outside on the streets of New Orleans with all the trainers and all the coaches uh, Friday at 6 a.m. So that might be a fun way for you to live stream your workout or video yourself and share about Summit, even if you're not there. Just planting seeds for you. And then the last thing is the closing ceremony Saturday night. And this is where Carl's going to launch all the new products and all the new workouts coming up and just a lot of exciting stuff. He's build it up really big. I have no idea what's coming out. Um, I've heard some rumors, but that's when the, the fun stuff gets announced. So definitely get on there. Um, and then discounted tickets for summit next year are usually available Saturday. Um, last year they were $145 for two weeks only, and then they go up. Um, I need to check that Liz. I was thinking about that as I wrote, if it's central time or Eastern time, but I'll get back to you on that. Just know it's early in the morning, so you guys can get it in before work. Any other questions? Lots of stuff going on. Okay, let's talk about Team Cup really quick. So a lot of you maybe haven't done this before, but starting in August, for the whole month of August, we are doing Team Cup. So after this call, I'm gonna put a poll in the team page and see who wants to participate. Um, it's basically teams of five and you work together to help as many people as possible within the month. And so it's just a great way to kind of challenge yourself, step outside your comfort zone, work with people on the team maybe you've never connected with. And the best thing that I love about it, fun fact, people who are participated in CUP in February earned an average of 16 times more in that month than coaches who did it. So that alone, I know all of you are here to earn some income. You got to do the cup, okay? So I'll put a poll on the team page after that. Anything else? Those are all my announcements. You guys good? Still with me? Okay. So I wanted to kick off this call with something I've kind of mentioned in the team page before with an I am exercise. And so what I want you guys to do is to close your eyes. Close them. I can see you. <laughs> and I want you to think about the coach you want to be in December. How many people do you want to have helped by then? What kind of freedom do you want to create by then? What kind of leader do you want to be by then? How do you want to feel about yourself by then? How many programs do you want to complete by then? And so I want you to think in your head right now, I am dot, 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 you know? And I'm going to share some of mine when your eyes are closed, what my I am's are. And after this call, you can write some of yours down, okay? So keep your eyes closed. Some of mine is, I am a fierce leader. I am filled with passion. I am an elite coach. I am meant to make a difference. I am a value to others. I am living the life I love. All right, open your eyes. 
So these are the things I want you to visualize that you already are. And so the things that you want, you're going to write them as if you already are them because you already have it within you. And this new program that we're about to launch this week, it's going to tap some major stuff inside of you and bring it out. And if you can fuel that and get through it and rock it, the potential is already within you to get every single thing you want out of this business and this opportunity and this program. All right. So I want you to take some time this week and write down the things that you want as if you already are them. Cool. I read mine every single morning, by the way, before I work out and it takes me to like a whole nother level. So definitely do it. Okay. Let's get to the root of the call. I need a drink of water before I start this. So I'm going to do a little preaching and then some actual teaching, like some things that you can put into practice, okay? So first things first, you guys are your business. You're not Beachbody. You're not Shift Shop, right? You're not a Shakeology seller. You are your business, right? So every day, if you show up, your business is open. If you don't, it's closed. And so the way you think, the way you talk to yourself, the jargon you use, the messages you send, that is what you guys are selling. And so the secret, secret sauce to success is you. And so a lot of you, you have this cup, right? And every day you get the opportunity to fill it with, you know, think of coffee drops or water, whatever. Every day you have the opportunity to fill it when you show up to your workouts. Oh, can you hear me? My internet says unstable. Let me know if I freeze. Um, every day you have the opportunity to fill it when you work out, right? You put coins in the bank. I'm good? Okay. When you do your personal development, you put coins in the bank. Let's think of a piggy bank. I'm thinking of Brianna right now. Um, Every day you, you read your personal development or lis listen to a podcast, you put coins in the bank. Every day you send messages and build friendships, you put coins in the bank. Every day you post on social media and share your story, you put coins in the bank. But the second that you pull back, the second that you um, take your foot off the gas, the piggy bank drops coins. And I want you to know you can't give coins to other people and help them and lend to them and be a giver until that bank is overflowing, it explodes. So the best way for you to fill your cup is to pick a program and stick to it, is to not do shift shop your way. Do shift shop the way the plan says, which all of you have access to. It's in the team page. You have it before it launches July 12th. It's already in there. So you guys already know the meal plan. You already knew the workout schedule. You already know the grocery list. Pretty cool that you get access to that before everybody else because not everybody has that. But if you don't have your cup filled, you can't give to anybody else. So you have to really focus on overflowing. Like for me, Shift Shop was, you know, when I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't know, I have all these weddings, like how am I gonna to commit to this? Like I'm definitely gonna cheat, I'm, not, I'm gonna do it my way. But then I was like, you know what, no, Danielle. I'm gonna do it all out because I wanna be so damn excited about this launch that I just can't stop talking about it. And the only reason I helped more people than I ever have in my entire three years last month is because I'm just like exploding with excitement. And you have to get yourself to that level because if your cup's not filled and overflowing, who can you give to, right? The reason Liz is at Success Club already and has changed three lives because she just can't shut up about what she's doing because she's so excited about it. And the best way that you get there is finding the joy in what you're doing, right? Doing your fitness and doing your personal development and having your nutrition on point. It's the same, thing you, the same things you guys have heard like a million times. Nothing that you didn't do as a challenger should change as you're, you are a coach. You have to take those same principles and keep the simplicity there so that you're so excited about what you're doing, you just can't shut up about it. And so a lot of times, 
some of you come to me, you're like, I, I just can't hit success club. I, I can't hit my goals. Um, nobody's following me. Nobody's liking my posts. Well, the best way to find the people that you want is to lead by example. Overflow your cup by finding that joy and then do it no matter what. It's a decision. You've probably heard that a million times, right? It's a deci decision to help free people every single month because that's your job. I, lo I love the analogy. Like if your boss told you tomorrow, you know what, Tara, I'm going to fire you by the end of the week unless you help three people. You'd find damn three people, right? Somewhere, somehow, you'd work your little butt off, you'd type away, you would race against the clock, you would get it done when you have a deadline. But when you think, oh, I have 30 days to talk to people, like, I'll find them. That doesn't work, right? Because you have to have some type of urgency to it. And it's a decision to go after that urgency. So the best way to do that is to commit to a program. Um, <laughs> it's so true. So I also want you guys to have grace. I know that every master was once a beginner. So don't look at me and think, oh my gosh, I could never do what she's doing. Because if you think that, you're right, right? The things that you say in your head and you talk to yourself and the messages you send, they're going to reflect the way that you think about yourself. And so plugging into that personal development every day is the key to rocking the success in your business. All right? So the first thing to invite is you guys have to talk to your people. Everybody on this team is different. We all talk differently. We all are uniquely us. We all have different interests. The way that the team scripts are, that's worked for me, but it might not work for you. That's why there's so many ideas in there. You guys have no excuse not to send 10 invites every day because there's just so many options. But the way that I get people, I guess, started or in a conversation is I treat everyone like I've already been friends with them forever. Like they're my best friend, that we get each other, that we vibe with each other. If somebody accepts my friend request on Facebook, they wanted to be my friend, right? Like you can just assume you're already friends. If somebody follows you on Instagram, they're genuinely interested in what you are sharing already. So you have to take that as an assumption that you're already friends. That's what social media is for. So talk to your people. When you explain a challenge group, talk, how would you share it with your best friend, right? I love using, it's like a live Pinterest page, fun recipes, awesome motivation. People are constantly logging. So it's accountability for me that I have to get up at 5 a.m. because Justine's in there at 4 a.m. and it's already beat me, you know, like that's how I would share it with my best friend. But the way you might describe a challenge group might be differently. So you have to think about that as you're typing a message to somebody. Don't copy paste from the scripts because that's easy. Talk like you would to your best friend. Voice message as if you were explaining it to your best friend. You know, I might picture my best friend Erica and say like, this is what it's all about. You know, I always like to think, am I portraying the same person on my post when I'm going live, when I'm in person as when I'm sending messages? And what I mean by that is like, don't put on a show when you go live on Facebook. Talk as if you were talking to your best friend or your mom or your sister. Be your normal authentic self because that's what's going to connect you to the people that you want to find, right? If you don't, I mean, I can't think of an example right now, but like if you see something in the scripts that you would never say, don't say it, right? Explain it as if you were talking to your best friend. I like to read what I'm saying out loud. And I really think that we should all be using voice message more and more because people can feel your passion. You can't get on a voice message and say, well, the challenge group is, um, you know, full of people who want to hit their goals. No, you're going to say the challenge group is so awesome. It's filled with positive women who are all not perfect, but are trying to find a healthy balance in life while working on their own fitness program of their choice and really working on their nutrition. Does this sound like something you might be interested in? That's confidence. You guys all should have that because you've seen results in some shape or form, right? So you shouldn't be bashful about sharing that. 
And is it scary to do it at first? Sure. But guess what? The magic happens outside of your comfort zone. And the more you think it's scary, the more you talk yourself out of it. And it's minutes that you could be changing somebody's life if you just got over your damn self and did it, right? So that's number one. I told you I'm dropping some truth bombs tonight. Number two, ask more questions than answering. So the hardest thing to do as a new coach is to shut up. <laughs> um, but seriously, guys, like you're really excited about what you're doing and it takes um, time and a craft to focus more on the other person than yourself. So I always like to ask myself when I get a message back and somebody says I'm interested or says they're interested in my group, I stop, I breathe, I walk around, I get up from my seat. And I maybe ask for advice from my message pods or from you guys on what to say, and then I message them back. But if you get right on and be like, oh my gosh, a challenge group is all about this, and I got great results from this program, and I think it would be perfect for you, they don't even know what you're offering. Like they're like, whoa, girl, what are you, what are you trying to say here, right? They just want to know what's in it for them. But you don't know what's in it for them until you know what they need or what their pain points are or what their struggles are or what their routine is like. And so you have to ask yourself, are you talking about yourself or are you truly listening to that person? And some people like to say, well, I'm shy. I don't know what to say. Well, you have a team page to plug into with 50 plus other people who are talking to people every single day that you can ask questions are on. You have a message pod of other coaches that are, have the same goals as you that you can ask and screenshot combos to every day. And you have your coach to lean into. So if you're shy at this, guess what? You can just use your phone to answer. So you don't have to talk face to face to people, right? Or you can get on the phone with your coach and three way and talk to somebody that way so that you're always supported. I've always said, especially in the past month or two, put me in a three-way message and I'll help you talk to your people because that's what a partnership is, right? I always say, put your hands under your butt and shut up and just listen. Use these two things. There's two of them for a reason. So when you're having conversations and you get really excited, I just want you to take a deep breath, sit back for a second, and remember that it's all about them and not about you, okay? Number three, you're going to breadcrumb, breadcrumb info about our groups. So a lot of times we like to push the program we like or the experience that we've had on somebody, but you have to listen as you're asking those questions, what that person needs. You have to take it from their standpoint. And this is where you guys really get to coach. This is where the fun stuff starts. The art of kind of talking to people and building that relationship. It doesn't matter what you're interested in. I mean, you know we have all access. So there's a billion programs. But if I went to you and said, you know what, Vicki, there's 600 workouts for you to choose from. So you could just get all access and you'll be good to go. Well, they don't know anything about that. They don't, they don't know what's on on demand. They don't, it's like you're speaking Spanish to them. You have to ask them questions about what they want. So if somebody comes to you and says, I just need something that's convenient. I don't have much time. Um, my schedule's super busy. Then you're going to take the route of that's awesome. I have this simple grab and go option. That's filled with the nutrients you're lacking. Um, all of the workouts you can do in your PJs or with no pants in your living room. If you want They're quick 30 minutes, you can get it done in and out and I can help you find a place in your schedule for it. But if somebody's not interested in at-home workouts and they tell you off the bat, do you just let them go? No, you take a different standpoint. That's awesome, girlfriend. We have this all-access pass where you can literally go outside and work out. You can take it to the gym and prop your phone up or put it in your armband. You can go to the beach and do your workout. And you can find somebody else's story in this team to help you through that. And that's why I always say when you're having your conversations, lean into your message pods or lean into the team page and ask for advice because there's a million different stories in here. I can tell you, Liz told me she was never going to do the workouts or the portion control containers. She just wanted to do Shakeology. I can tell you that Tara told me she was, wasn't going to stop going to the gym, that she could only do her workouts there, right? Um, who else is on the call? Brianna has a super busy schedule, so she needed something short and sweet. You know what I mean? Like all these stories are similar, 
but they're different. And so you have to listen to the needs of what that person wants so that you can frame what you're offering towards their needs, okay? So, oh, did I skip? Okay, so when you're going through your messages and you're thinking about social media, you have to be a friend first. If you don't wanna be salesy, don't. Be a friend, be a solution provider. The, the reason that I'm really pushing voice message on you guys today is because there's 400,000 other coaches out there pushing shift shop. They're pushing workout videos. They're pushing Shakeology. What's going to make our team different? And what I want all of us to lead with is a friendship first, relationship first, caring about that person first. And I really think the best way to show that is using voice message. And I'm, I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I did five invites on voice message before I got on this call. I didn't want to, but I knew that my passion would come out better than just copy pasting a script from the team page. It's, it's about showing your imperfection. Like who cares if your dogs are barking in the background or your husband comes in when you're messaging somebody and you're like, Oh, I'm so sorry. Like my husband just came home. Like who cares? That's you being real. Like you have a life, right? But the cool thing is the voice message has a minute time limit. So you can't send paragraphs of information. You can't um, word bomb. You can just speak from your heart. Um, when I say voice message, there's a voice messenger on Facebook Messenger and on text message. It's that little microphone um, icon on there. And if you don't know where it is, there's a great website called Google and there's a great website called YouTube that will walk you through how to figure it out. It's my great resources. That's what I use whenever I can't figure anything out. So you're going to be a servant and a giver of value. And you're going to not assume anything about anyone. I think a lot of times we go into conversations like, oh, that girl's doing orange theory, so she would never join my group. No, no, no. You don't know what her nutrition looks like. Pretty much everybody on this earth, in my opinion, needs Shakeology. So you have to think, I'm here to give and I'm here to build a friendship. And if that happens to lead to her wanting to be in my accountability group, she might not be getting results from Orange Theory. She might be traveling a lot for work like Liz and need something she can do in a hotel. You know, you just, you can't assume anything until you build that relationship. Um, yeah, that's such a hard thing to not assume, but it's, it's really true, guys. Like, I'm giving you my secret sauce. So this is like hands down maybe the most important slide of tonight. Follow, <laughs> I told you guys I'm gonna curse a little bit. Follow the F up. Like, so many of you have messaged me this week and you're like, should I follow up? Is it too much? Should I, am I annoying them? Guys, follow up. Do you know our first Star Diamond coach on this team, she didn't answer me for eight months. Eight months. And she's now a Star Diamond coach and she's now going to summit. Her name is Claire, ba Claire Duarte, not Balcom anymore. Eight months, she'll tell you. And you know what? She watched. She watched my post. She watched if I was consistent. She watched me see results with programs. I had to convince her publicly for eight months and follow up with her behind the scenes for eight months. But I saw potential in her, something that she didn't see at the time, just like I see potential in every single one of you. So you have to care more about your relationship with them than your ego or the thing you think in your head that they're going to think you're weird or you're bothering them or you're just trying to sell them something. It's not about that. It's about being a friend. You're, you're going to be a mentor for them and you're going to serve them and you're going to be a positive influence in their life regardless if they join your accountability or group or not because you don't care about that. You care about being a friend. You also have to remember that people are not on Facebook like us. So if you're only talking to somebody on Messenger when they say they're interested, get them on text message or email. The second somebody says I'm interested in a group, I say, awesome, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Would you like to exchange numbers instead? No questions about their goals or anything. I want to get them in a place where they're going to answer me best because I want to move through the process. Excuse me. So 
it's not selfish and it's not rude and it's not annoying to follow up. And I hope you guys all accept that right here, right now, because people forget. And like I said, Claire is a prime example of that. There's also many of you on this team who probably didn't answer me for weeks or months on end, but I didn't care because I knew my purpose is deep. What I'm sharing is giving value and I want to find the girl tribe that wants to work with me. And so that just means I have to work for it sometimes. And I always care about them as a person more than I do the invite. So you're not following up in the sense of like, did you see my message? Did you see my invite? Did you get that enrollment? It's going to be like, Hey girl, how's your week going? Like, I haven't heard from you. Sorry, we haven't connected. Or, you know, if you do have an enrollment out voice messaging them and say, Hey girl, I'm so excited to get you in the next group. Wanted to make sure you got everything set up. Okay. And sometimes you have to do that a few times for people because we're all busy. So if you forget things on the team page or like, to show up for team calls, imagine other people, they forget stuff all the time, you know? Say that and own it. I want you to know I didn't forget about you. And then people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I for totally forgot. And it won't be weird. Um, yeah, that's such a great follow-up, Amanda. It's so simple, so easy. Just saying, hey girl, how's your week going? Just being a friend, okay? So, I wanted to give you, so I was watching a call this week and a lot of the content I'm going to give you now is applicable to what messages you're sending. Um, and like I said, all of this will be posted on the team page. So you guys will have this, um, to write from later, but there's some magical questions I want us to start utilizing because it gave me a different span on, I think what we're already doing, but I think it is a simpler way to go about it. So two magical questions you're going to ask when somebody says they're interested, you're gonna say, awesome, I can't wait to tell you more about it. Can you tell me a little bit more about your story? What's going on in your life right now? That's just getting to know them, right? Just understanding where they're coming from and what they're up to. And that can be before an invite too, you know, just forming them and building the relationship. And then when they say they're interested, Awesome. I can't wait to share more about it. Can you tell me more about your current health and fitness regimen? What is working for you and what is not working so well for you? So the reason that I'm giving you guys these two questions is because the way I think about my messages is I'm trying to get that person to say out loud why they need to commit to this. So when you ask those two questions, they're going to either think one, oh, my fitness, I can go to the gym regularly, but I'm just not seeing the results I want. And I know um, Kat was feeling that way before she signed up. Or they're going to say, you know what? Nothing's really working for me. I kind of need something new. So it makes them identify in their head, nothing's working and I need to make a change. And they have to admit that out loud, right? And the best part about this is you're going to get to the root of what their problem and their pain point is and know that you have a solid, incredible solution to offer them. It doesn't mean you give it away right here, right now, right? But these are two questions to get you started the conversation about understanding what their struggles are, you know, what are the things that are holding them back, what are the obstacles in their life, and they get to say out loud why they need this. And that's how I treat all of my conversations. It's not about me telling my story with a shift shop and all the pounds I lost and all the workouts I did everywhere. And like when somebody asked me about shift shop, I first asked them about their goals. I put it back on them. So you don't have to ask, answer every single question somebody asks you because you need to know about them first before you can ever recommend something. You can't go straight to that. Oh, you would love 21 day fix in my group. Everybody does that. Well, maybe 21 day fix isn't a great way for them to start. They might not be interested in that. So these are two golden questions I want us to start putting into practice. Cool? Okay. So I wanted to touch base on Instagram really quickly. Um, if you guys don't follow Liz on Instagram, she is like the queen of this and she's truly embraced it. But if you didn't know, Team Beach Body is going to the United Kingdom in the fall, October specifically. We are launching there. Um, currently, Beach Body is only available in Canada, the US, and Puerto Rico. So, this is a 
ginormous opportunity for us to expand now on Instagram and master a tool in our toolbox to rock the launch in October. Okay. This is literally like the best thing ever because think about it. It's millions of more people that we get to work with. It's new territory, new blood, new people. You know, it's a way for us to really grow beyond your 200 friends on Facebook or however many friends, or you're feeling like you have tons of mutual friends with me. This is where you can grow. Okay. The reason that I've been using Instagram a little bit more is because you can target hashtag locations. So like you can go to Google and say hashtags for young professionals in London and you'll come up with some, some of their um, hashtags for England fitness lovers or whatever. You know, you have to do some resources. There's never a lack of resources. There's always a lack of resourcefulness. So I'm just throwing this idea out there. You don't have to implement it today, but over the next couple months, I want us to really focus on this because Instagram's easier, quicker. It's all about bright, bold images. It's less saturated. I mean, how many of you have been added to a group on Facebook you never got asked to be added to? Most annoying thing ever, right? Nobody can do that on Instagram. The cool thing is it's pictures and the messages you get a notification right on the same app. Whereas Facebook, people have to have the messenger app to get your message or they check it like once in a blue moon. So for me, Instagram, I tried it out this weekend. I did all my follow-ups and invites on there and I got some responses and I have some conversations going because they have to answer it and the notification sits. I also think Insta story is a game changer. It's kind of like Snapchat combined with, Facebook in a sense with notifications and stuff like that. I love it because I get to show what's going on throughout my day and I get to see who's watching what I'm doing, which is pretty cool because those people go on my list to start building relationships with. So when I told you guys, um, I did in the team page this week, weekend, everybody should have a little shift shop list going. And you can handwrite this. You don't have to print it out. It can be super simple. Of the names you're going to have in our test group. And every day I sign somebody up, I update it, and I post it on Insta Story, and I say, spots are going. There's a lot of people committing. Join the link in my bio to, to join me. Or comment below or message below. Give them a call to action to get on this list. And give them a time frame. July 24th, lose 5 to 15 pounds. You know, you're building that FOMO. And Carl really pressed Insta story and he look he looks at my posts like I can tell because he likes some of them and he's watching what we're doing. So I'm giving you guys this tool to have another vehicle to create curiosity rather than raise resistance. Because here's the thing, if you go talk about shift shop all the time, like everybody else is going to do this week, you're going to be like every other coach. But if you get on Insta story and talk about the exciting new program and talk about your first ever test group and talk about the accountability team that we have, that's going to differentiate you. And people can see the real raw you and they watch them. Like Liz will tell you, she goes on there and talks to her Insta story every single day about what she's doing. And it doesn't just have to be beach body stuff. It can be my dogs are like learning a new trick and you know, just the life stuff that you have. It lets you find your people. So I really wanted to hammer that one home as a long-term launch for our team, okay? Um, okay, so let's get into the actual how-to stuff, okay? So this is, you guys know we have scripts in the team page. It's on the pinned posts of the calendar. Um, there's a Google Doc link there, and there's literally messages for every type of thing. When somebody asks you, what is a challenge group? There's a script in there. When somebody asks you, how much does it cost? There's a script in there. And I'd love for you guys to take those scripts and voice message them in a way that feels genuine to you. So not saying word for word, but literally just talking on voice message, you know, the same essence or idea of what that says, because they work but it's got to be from you and your heart. Um, but if somebody is following you on Instagram 
and or even on Facebook and you want to invite her, this can be a simple invite. Hey babe or hey girl, we have so much in common. I don't know if this is up your alley, but I run a girl tribe accountability group and I think you'd be a perfect fit. You seem like a girl's girl and I'm always looking for new friends to hold me accountable. Would you be interested? That's all an invite is, guys. So why do we get so freaked out about it? Because it's like, oh my gosh, am I going to send a cold invite? What are they going to think of me? Are they thinking I'm going to be salesy? Are they thinking I'm going to be trying to get them to do something? No, you start with the people who like your posts. So you need to be consistently sharing your story and not just throwing up, here's my workout or here's my dog pic or, you know, this is a whole nother topic, but like, your social media posts have to share your story. You know, if you don't want to get up and work out this morning, talk about that. Talk about what motivated you. Talk about the feelings inside. Talk about the excitement you have for a new program. Um, the people who follow you, you on Instagram are the difference of the people following you on Instagram, guys, is that they want to see your posts. If somebody's friends with you on Facebook, they can unfollow your posts but still be friends with you. So if they're friends with you on Instagram, to me, that's like an instant. Oh, am I there? Can you hear me? Sorry. Um, but the people on Facebook can unfollow your posts and still be friends with you. On Instagram, if they're friends with you, your posts come up. So to me, if you're following me on Instagram, I'm going to invite you because you're already interested in me by being my friend, right? And then the people who know, like, and trust you. The most important thing I always think of is just go for it. The worst person, the worst thing somebody's going to tell you is no. And guess what? That's expected. Expect a no on the first try. It's not failing. It's not bad. You didn't do something wrong. It's a seed you're planting on your farm and you just have to love and water and put sunlight on it a little bit longer and build that relationship. So, just kind of expect to know on the first invite and detach your feelings from the outcome so that it's no big deal. It's an opportunity instead of an obstacle for you because it just means you get to build a relationship with them. Cool? Okay, when someone says, I'm interested, now what? Everybody usually freaks out. Oh my gosh, what do I say? So you're gonna step back and remember, you don't know anything about them. So you're going to say, hey, girl, I'm so excited you're interested. Can you fill me in on some of your current goals? What's working for you currently and what's not working so well with your health and fitness? You're not going to assume an objection or that you know their story or that they don't need Shakeology or that they're going to tell you no. You're going to understand where they are at and what they need help with. And then when they come back and forth with you, you get to use, I feel, I felt, I found. So somebody's going to say, you know, I'm really struggling with my nutrition. I can't stop snacking. It's, you know, put on some extra weight for me. I really felt uncomfortable in my skin. I totally feel you, girl. I felt the same way when I was in graduate school and I used food as a reward. Like it was so defeating to not fit into my clothes either. But what I found is an accountability group helped me stay on track to my goals and gave me a reason to show up every day. Do you think that would help you. And so you, you have to kind of get on their level and meet them where they're at and relate to them, right? And it's supposed to be use your story, not use your store. Clearly I did this a little fast. Um, and, and listen really to those pain points because it takes a lot for somebody to open up and tell you their struggles, right? It's not always fun to admit where you're at is not where you're proud of. So I want you guys, when you get to this point in conversations, put on your human hat. Don't be a robot. Don't be a script copy paster. Look at your toolbox and say, how can I serve them? How can I help them through this struggle? And when you think of yourself as a solution provider and that you're here to get them excited about a new journey they're going to take with you, you can never feel salesy or bad about what you have to offer. Um, Amanda said, my problem is I talk about their goals before the interest in the challenge group is discussed. So when they say they're interested, I don't know what to say next. You go back to their goals and say, you know, are you interested in working on losing those five to 15 pounds? Like, I think this could be a great opportunity for you and relate back to what they, they gave you. It's kind of like ammo to say, this is what you need. You know, I think that's awesome that they're giving it to you first. 
So after you learn their goals and struggles and interests, you're going to say, awesome. I loved hearing a little bit about your story and where you're at right now. Um, let me give you the rundown. Let's help you find a program based on your goals. You told me, um, 95% of the time my girls start with the fix and guys, this can be in your words. It doesn't have to be like this, but I'm giving you something you can voice message simply. It sounds like you're looking for something quick and easy, focusing on a lifestyle and that's truly fun for you. Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? So you're going back to what they told you and, and relating to those goals again to show them that you listened. Does that make sense? Oh, let me get whoever's on the phone. So then people always ask, what's the cost? And guys, you can't freak out with this because do you know what you're selling? Yes, you're giving somebody Shakeology and workouts, but what you're really selling is yourself. And there's no price tag on any of you. You're priceless. You're inv invaluable or valuable, whatever the word is. You should be so confident in yourself because you have seen success in some shape or form. Even if you're brand new at this, there's something about this that you love. And that's why you decided to pay it forward. So this is where you know if you did the work in asking all the questions in understanding their pain points and talking to them about the struggles, you have a like stellar deal to over deliver to them because you help them pick one program, you help them commit to Shakeology and now you're going to be here to help them change their life with these tools and give them all of the tools in your toolbox with all access. That's how I think about it when I get to this point. Okay. So this is just another way you could explain outside of the scripts that we already have, um, what they're going to get. So my groups are always free to my challengers. And the only expense is our sales bundle called a challenge pack, which includes workouts, nutrition guides for each program, plus Shakeology for 30 meals, 21 day fix in every program for the entire year, plus new releases throughout the year, which is on Prail mode right now. So there's a couple key words I loved in this free sale account. Uh, there should be accountability in there, whatever you guys can add it in. Um, but it shows that what you're offering, you're free and you're the most beneficial thing to them, right? You can't, you, if somebody gave you Shakeology and a workout program, most of you wouldn't follow through on it. I know I wouldn't because I wouldn't know how to mix it. I wouldn't know what workout program to start with. I would get defeated when I couldn't do Insanity Max 30 the first day because so many challengers think they can just do Insanity for an hour, right? That's why you have a coach to help you figure out what program is going to work best for you, to cheer you on every day, to lift you up when you stop showing up, to give you a new recipe when you don't like the taste of your Shakeology. You guys are priceless. Then you're going to say, check out this link, which is our Glow Diggers All Access link that gives them all the tools and then ask them if that would be a good fit for them. All right. So you're over delivering. Yes, Liz, I will add these to the scripts. I've already added some of them actually. So the last thing is guys, how do you get them to enroll when they say yes, right here, right now, you have to get excited. You have to go back to the reason why they want to join and why you're excited about that reason. Like, I can't wait to get texts from you not waiting in Atlanta traffic and rocking your sweat sessions on your time. Like, that's, that's relating to their goals, right? If they were sitting in traffic, going to the gym every single day, that's annoying. Nobody should be doing that. You can do it right in your living room. And then here's a key piece. To reserve your spot in our group, follow the link in your inbox, which I've emailed you. Make sure you let me know as soon as you purchase so I can reserve your spot and make sure everything went through on my end. So that's urgency. That's getting them to fill out the enrollment right now. That's getting them to ask you any questions they have as they're going through it. And it's creating a sense of FOMO because they've got to reserve their spot. And to do that, they have to fill out the link you sent them. All right. Just another way to kind of put, we already have the team scripts. I'm just giving you a different angle. So I wanted to give you one coach invite idea. And I know this is a little bit long but it's just another viewpoint from another coach. So the thing is with coaches, 
you're only going to invite people that you truly vibe with. So your bomb challengers that are showing up every day in the challenge group, which has probably been 95% of you guys, you showed up every day, you love Shakeology, you loved your workout, and so I went and invited you, or your coach went and invited you, because I saw you as a great person to pay this gift forward to other women, women that I couldn't reach. You know, Vicki has hundreds of friends that I don't know. She can reach a whole nother world of people, which is awesome to me. Like, I think that is so great about this team. You can also invite people that are just starting out. So this is an example of that. Hey, Katie, I'm so excited to get to know you even better and help you get rocking for Vegas. So you're relating to her goal. Um, I do really think the all access is the best way to get started since you'll have access to every single program Beachbody has ever created and all the new stuff coming out literally for an entire year. You're making it a deal, guys. Most bang for your buck. Now you have two options to get signed up. Number one, enroll with a coach account. Save 25% off on your orders of literally anything. And you can also earn money for referring people to join one of my accountability groups. So let me pause for a second. One of my accountability groups, you're taking the pressure off of them and, and planting a seed right here. Three to four referrals and your entire cost is covered. They call it a coach, but don't let that freak you out. Think of it more as a discount membership. You don't have to do anything as a coach, but I do really think you'd kill it as a coach. Option two, enroll as a challenge customer. You're going to pay a retail and waive your right to that discount and commission part right now. Either way, your initial challenge pack investment will be $160 for everything I mentioned before, so you'll be totally set and ready to rock for Vegas. What do you think is the best for you? Well, who doesn't want the 25% off and the option to offset their cost? Again, we have a similar script to this. This is just another way to put it, guys. So I thought it was a great one, and I believe I've already added it to the scripts. If not, I will do that after this. So to wrap this up, I know it's been a little bit long. Guys, right now is the best time to be a coach. Literally the best time. And I hope you feel that from the bottom of your heart. Not only are we launching internationally, but we're launching the most exciting program we've had in a really long time. We haven't launched a program since Court of Force, really, in my opinion, one that made an impact, um, which has been six, seven months now. So a lot of you have never experienced this before. And this FOMO and excitement is a big opportunity ball for you to take and launch out of the park. The way to think about international Europe and UK, they have a long-term mindset. So they're willing to put in small increments of work for long-term success. Uh, hello, who wants to go to London on an international trip and use it as a business expense? I do, you know? Think about it that way and new people to help, of course. Um, so really think about starting to use Instagram, looking up hashtags to find your UK peeps. The second thing is you take care of yourself first. If you are off your fitness game or your personal development game or your health game, you can't fill and overflow your cup to others. You have to fill your cup first. And this business has to be so freaking fun for you that you're pumped to pay it forward and show up every day and get up at 5 a.m. and pour your heart out on messages and reach new people and put yourself out there. I, can't, I haven't been sleeping well for the past three months because I'm so excited for this launch. And I want all of you to get to a point that you are overflowing that cup. So if you're not there, you have to ask yourself, what can you do for yourself to get to your best self? Obviously, my best advice is to commit 110% of Shift Shop and share your journey every single day. I'm talking the good, the bad, the ugly, the stories, the lies, everything because that's what helped me overcome my plateau and get to my best self. So start with yourself first, because if you don't get yourself to a good place, none of this will work. Okay. Lastly, bring on shift miss and bring on summit. All right, guys. So I am going to open up for questions. I know this went a little bit long. I told you guys I had a lot of info. Was this helpful? Was this good? Give me something, guys. What was your biggest takeaway?
You're all muted. Go ahead. You can unmute yourself, Liz. You want me to do it? Oh, go ahead. No, I think this is great. I love the new script. Um, I just needed to like mix it up a little bit. I've been doing a lot of messaging this month. So yeah, I think they were really helpful. Thanks for putting them out. You can thank Kasha because like, Keisha, sorry. I watched one of her calls this week, Keisha Fitzgerald, and she inspired me. So that's my girl. I shared her shift shop results this week. So you probably saw those. What else, guys? You feeling on fire? Who's changing three lives this month? Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. I better see every single one of you doing that super workout because... I'm going to be live streaming a lot this week. So you guys are going to feel like you're in New Orleans with us. But I hope just all of this, like, you don't have to implement all of this tonight. All you have to start doing is feeling really good about your journey and sharing the heck out of it. All right. And when you're at that place where you're feeling really good, then you start adding the layers. But just share your story, guys. Good, bad, and ugly. So I will be pumping in the team period for lots of stuff as much as I can. Um, if you haven't checked out the shift shop stuff, get in the team page and look at it. Um, like I said, the meal plan's already there. Workout program schedule's already there. And let's rock the heck out of this program, guys. I can't wait to see all of your transformations. That's what I'm most excited about. But let's get our challengers excited and... Let's rock it, guys. All right. I will see you after New Orleans next week. Um, just to give you a heads up, we're going to have the coaches who are in New Orleans sharing their biggest takeaways from Summit. So let's blow up the team page with tickets bought to Summit 2018 on Saturday. Sound like a deal? Awesome. Well, if you have any questions, you know where to find me, and I will see you after Summit, guys. Have a great shift this week. See ya.